Well, what drama and excitement in the last two finals in the mixed doubles, the Hong Kong pair saving five match points to come back from 16-20 down in that women's singles final. Uh, Rachana Kintanon coming from 9-14 down and 16-19 down to win the match. Are we going to have that sort of drama in the next match, the men's doubles? I wouldn't bet against it because we've got the world champions, Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan up against the world number ones, Marcus Finaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. Well, as far as the Super Series standings are concerned, after Japan, we had the top four and five of the top seven in that list had all contested a Super Series final this year. Now, the top five will have all contested a Super Series final because the number five pair, Lu Cheng and Zhang Nan, the world champions are in the final today. Now, obviously, with uh, Gideon and Sulcamolio already at number one, whether they win or lose, they will remain so. And uh, I believe the top five will all remain the same, regardless of the fact uh, that uh, the world champions might win today. I still don't think they can get enough points to overtake Matthias Bull and Karsten Morgensen. So there won't be many changes in that destination Dubai standings after this Danish Open. Well, as far as the men's doubles is concerned, from quarter-final stage, we only had four different nations involved. Three Chinese pairs, two Danish pairs, two Indonesian pairs, and one Japanese pair. But the interesting thing was that the winners of all eight previous Super Series events prior to this Denmark Open were all in the quarter-final. Not so extraordinary when you consider Boa Morgensen have won two Super Series events this year, and Gideon and Sulcamolio four. But by semi-final stage, she, we still had four seeds, and it's the only discipline to still have four seeds by semi-final stage. Heartbreak for the home fans when Boa Morgensen, two-time finalists and former champions, lost yesterday to the world champions in a thrilling semi-final. So the world champions against the world number ones. This should be a fantastic match. Now we're ready for the men's doubles finalists. Please welcome ranked number five in the world and reigning world champions from China, Lui Cheng and Shang Nan. The world champions, Liu Cheng and Shang Nan in their first Super Series tournament final together. Of both the Japan and Malaysian Open. Please welcome from Indonesia, Marcus Benavni Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumilio. The world number ones. Marcus Benavni Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumilio in their ninth Super One Series time. Tournament Five Final, the sixth this and year. And the judge is Richard Bramley, New Zealand. Well, since the inception of the Super Series in 2007, only one pair from Indonesia has ever won the Denmark Open men's doubles title. That was in 2008. Marcus Kido and Hendra Setia won. Well, the Chinese pair, as I say, never won a Super Series title. In fact, they've only ever won one title together as a pair. And that, of course, was the World Championships a couple of months ago in Glasgow. Not bad winning your first title at the World Championships, is it? There, Liu Cheng, who was a beaten finalist here in the men's doubles as a qualifier two years ago with Liu Kai. He's 25 years of age, born in Samming City in Western Fujian province. This is his third men's double Super Series final, obviously with a different partner, and has yet to win a Super Series title in the men's doubles discipline. Zhang Nan, well, he is Olympic men's doubles champion, won the gold medal in Rio last year with Fu Haifang. And 
he won the men's doubles title here with Fu Haifang three years ago. He's also won the mixed doubles here. That was in 2013 with Zhao Yunlei. But as far as their matches are concerned, well, the second round against two former champions from two different nations, Hendra Setiawan and Tanboon Hyong, they went the full distance, as indeed uh, they did in the semi-final against Bo and Morganson, who had won the title here, their home Super Series event in 2010, having lost in the final the year prior to that. So the number two seeds, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. Well, in case you're wondering why the number two seeds, they only went back up to number one after the seeding was done for this tournament. Marcus Fernaldi Gideon, born in Jakarta, is 26 years of age. And they're enjoying their 16th week in total as world number ones. Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. He's 22 years of age, born in Bangiwangi, which is the easternmost end of Java, serves as a port between Java and the island of Bali. And he is probably one of the most exciting players to watch on the world tour. Now, as far as they're concerned, in the first round, they struggled in three games against Hoki and Kobayashi, the semi-finalists from the recent Korean Super Series. Uh, but look at the time needed for their next three matches. 30 minutes, 25 minutes, and 34 minutes. That semi-final against teammates Pratama and Ricky Karanda Suwadi, a repeat of the India Super Series final. So a sixth final this year for the Indonesian pair. A sixth Super Series tournament final this year. They have a remarkable record. They actually won their first six Super Series finals together. Now you can see this is the third beating between the two pairs. And the Indonesians have won both the previous. But it was a very tight second game, wasn't it? At the quarterfinal stage of the Korean Open last month. In fact, they saved a, a game point opportunity before winning the match in two straight games. Fine Datan from India is our umpire. And Richard Bramley from New Zealand, our service judge. Well, as far as Gideon is concerned, this is actually his 10th Super Series tournament final. Ladies and gentlemen, his previous nine is one eight of them. On my right, Zhang Nang and Liu Cheng, China. <laughs> and on my left, Marcus Fernandez Gideon and Kevin Sanjay Sukumuljo, Indonesia. <laughs> Sanjay Sugamuljo to serve to Zhang Nan. Love all. Play. So the world number ones get this final underway against the world champions. Oh, he's missed it. Yeah, broke the strings of his racket. Kevin Sanjay Sugamuljo. One. Sixth Super Series tournament final this year for the Indonesians is not actually a record. Lee Yong Day and Yu Young Sung won six in a calendar year, 2015. Yeah, they were amazing. Yeah. So, one, two. 
Well, it's also an interesting scene from the recent World Championships. Four of the five gold medalists were here at the Denmark Open. Sadly, Nozomi Okuhara had to withdraw because of a knee injury. But the other four gold medalists, this is the only pair. And that's Zhang Nang and Lu Cheng who've made it through to finals day. Yeah, that's right. Already assured that um, no, sir. Korea can still have repeat winners if uh, the Union wins the that is um, in singles final. Four, yeah. One. World champions made it through to semi finals day and they've all gone by quarter finals. So it's over. Five, two. Well, you and I were very impressed by Six, Zhang Nang yesterday two. against Boa Morgensen. He really took command of the match, didn't he? Yeah, he did, and um, I have a feeling that he's learning more and more about playing these Indonesians here. Um, so it's over. Three. Uh, from time to time rated Jang Nan in, in my own little rating book as the best uh, doubles player in the world. Um, then he got a little bit off um, form and um, when he's at his best I, I still feel that he's um, one of the two, three strongest players in the world uh, in both mixed and, uh, and men's doubles. And um, sometimes when new pairs emerge on the scene like uh, Gideon and, and um, Sukamulio, you need a little bit of time to figure out how, how can we actually beat these two players here. And Bowen Morgensen have shown one way of doing it. Um, I'm not certain the Chinese can do it the same way. They have to find their own way and see if they can challenge these two magnificent Indonesian players. Yeah, good attack and play. And just expand on that, if you could, Steen. Are you talking about the fact that Bo and Morgensen, who have managed to beat this Indonesian pair on previous occasions this year, because of their skills and their ability to take the pace out of the rallies? Or? They, they can take the pace out. They can uh, keep them at certain conditions. I don't think they would have been able to do it here in in, um, in um, Odense because it favours the attacking players, in my opinion, in the men's doubles. It's a small venue and there's a lot of drift, but it also favours the quick Nine, uh, players like uh, Sukumulio and, and Gideon. So I don't think Bowen Morgensen would have been able to challenge them here. But they have on occasions been successful in, in um, keeping um, either uh, Gideon or Sukumulio on the back court, relying on their defensive skills. I don't think that's the way the, uh, the Chinese uh, have the best chance. I think the best chance is that uh, Zhang Nan is playing some of his best and and um, taking on Sukumulio at the net, or perhaps not taking on, but dominating and yeah. gets a lot of the play going on on Gideon, who is um, a strong player but has uh, much bigger gaps in my opinion. What's going on? Service over, then four. Oh, service error from Service over, five, ten. Mm, a little stamp of frustration.
Oh, delightful. So a six-point advantage at the mid-game interval for the world champions. Against the world number ones. That is lovely. And so unexpected because I expect him to hit the shuttle hard all the time because he is such a powerful player. Yeah, but he's developed as well. And, and of course, uh, winning this world championship must have given both confidence and also um, eager to practice and uh, become an even more uh, complete player. Um, we know that he's really, really strong in the attack and in the uh, flat game um, above the tape. But, but becoming a world champion, I mean, it, it takes some pressure off. Even though you get some pressure as well as in form of expectation, it takes some pressure off in terms of making your career a success or not. Yeah. 11-5. That's nice. Excellent control there by Sukumulio. There's a really, really good shot. That one. High quality. Point since the mid-game interval to the Indonesians. Four points. Nine, eleven. A lot of the flat game going to the uh, Chinese backhand side, as we can see, makes it really, really difficult for uh, the front court player to intercept. Where, where the Chinese pair, they've got to take their medicine and, and, and play Gideon on the backcourt for a couple of um, services situations, in my opinion. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Six straight points. And, and th that situation here with Gideon uh, hitting the smashes, that's where... In my opinion, players like the Chinese who are so good in the flat game, they need to take a step forward and try to change it oh! immediately in order to uh, take Sukumulio out of the uh, equation uh, on the front court. So they, they've got to be playing a more attacking play, defense, play. in my opinion. Oh! oh! It's as if it was a practice routine. Yeah, but he, he showed it two services ago. He, he made an error on that one. So the next time Sukumulia served him to the left-hand shoulder, he was still trying to do the same. And so th that's, that's some of the skills that he's got, these game-reading skills and, and the uh, courage to go for it. Yeah. Because he could easily look like a fool if Liu Chang had done something else. I know they didn't win the rally, but that's what you're talking about. Yes. Yeah. But when they played the last, that, 
not that one, next one here. That's flat and short. So instead of being defensive, they need to take a step forward and play flat game on that one. Yeah. So you use Sukumulu's speed in the smash against himself because it's very flat smashes. They're not steep. Yeah. So it's over. 13, 14. Mm, stayed on the Indonesian side. Yeah, I had to think about it, didn't it? Wow. Very nearly went over, but nearly isn't good enough. Yeah. Oh, that's fabulous. <laughs> and talk about game reading skills. Yeah. 15, 14. He's moved already. He's moved way before Sukumulio's played that shot. Jang Nan. Here comes the problem. Liu Chang tries to be creative from a position See. below the tape and very well exploited by the Indonesians. Oh, great backhand from Chang Nan. So it's over. 17, 15. Service error. That's so his so second. Sixteen, seventeen. It's all happening in double quick time, isn't it? Yeah. Only 14 minutes into the match. That from Chiang Nan. Trendy, game point, 16. Superb. Four game point opportunities for Liu Cheng and Chiang Nan. take the opening game in just 15 minutes of play. 21-16. And it is the first game that they've taken off the Indonesians. This is the third meeting between the two pairs. 21-16 in just 15 minutes.
strapping on the arms, strapping on the knee. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Yeah, and it's so difficult to say how significant it is. Because, I mean, for a long time we've actually seen Fernand with those strappings on his um, right knee. Second game. Love on. Play. See how flat the smashes are. At the moment, there's no steepness on the Indonesian smashes. That's his second service error, Sukumolio. And we saw him uh, playing against Dalgord and Christiansen, the Danes, and he served absolutely Whoa! perfect mm. that match. So it's over. Two, one. That's not it in. Three, one. Of course, the Indonesians, I mean, they, they've got their own playing style. I would still target a lot more shots to uh, Liu Chung if I were them. Oh, it's landed in. Yeah. That's poor judgment from Sukhumolio. Especially when you've got an opportunity to play the shuttle, you're in a good position. Yeah, but we also know his character that he would like yes. to sort of just leave it and see it just a little bit wide and say, OK, I've got it covered, I've got control yeah. of the lines as well. And sometimes you, you're mistaken. Glimpse of Ariano Maranat, the Indonesian coach. Three, four. Great mixed doubles player. Mm. Oh, I know too well. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. back in. Yes. So it's over. Four, three. <laughs> well, in. Five, three. And there's one thing the Chinese pair can't afford, and that's to go down in intensity, so to speak. Call. Because Four, then five. the Indonesians will be over them like hawks. Oh, good defense. Oh, it's just wrong. So it's over. Remarkable reaction, so. Six. Yeah, good call, line judge. Plate. Oh. 
Good. Good fourth shot by Gideon. So it's over. Seven, five. Deflected by hitting the top of the tape on its way through. Yeah, he's got a good touch of those flat drives at the moment. Uh, Marcus Gideon. Control his defensive shots there, Liu Cheng with a broken racket. Seven, broken racket, bra broken strings. String. Of course, Stumolu and Gideon lost at the World Championship to another Chinese pair, Cha Biao and uh, Hong Wei. Hong Wei is now retired and means that they should have gotten some uh, clues as to how to uh, tackle this Indonesian top pair. The question is whether they can continue to do it. Oh. Must have been close to being over the net. Nine, How did he get that seven. back? Chang Nan. Look at this next shot. Amazing. Clever oh. play by Liu Chang. So the solo. And that's where he's developed. Yeah. He's become better in the play below the tape and around tape height, uh, Liu Chang. Very good control there. Praises from uh, Cheng Nan. Back level. in his <laughs> semi-final, didn't he? <laughs> he was remarking so that he had, on one occasion, or was it two occasions? Two he found, occasions, he found, found the blue. The blue carpet. Not quite that time. Deliberately swiping so that he would miss the shuttle. Confidence bordering on arrogance. 
yeah, he's, he's not winning any uh, popularity contest amongst the other players, uh, Kevin Tsukamuro. I think not even with his own teammates. I've seen a match mm. where they played uh, Karanda and um, uh, Angra Patama. Yeah. And uh, they seem pretty fed up with um, his antics. Yeah. But there's a lot of players who won't win any popularity contest and inside the court you do everything you can to get under the skin of your opponents. It's actually uh, some sports where you can uh, get fined for unsportsmanlike conduct in court. American football is one of them. Can he badminton too? Yeah, he can. He's such a gifted and exciting player to watch anyway. To me personally, I don't think he needs these antics because he's just no. a joy to watch with his racket skills. Just let your racket do you the talking. And one of the things that also that we saw in this rally here is control in, in outer position with his racket. That one almost made it on the mm. next one as well. Yeah. I think the momentum has changed. I think it's Indonesians in the driver's seat here. In the second game. Oh. Oh. More strings gone in the racket of Liu Cheng. And that's 16, the reason for the 30. error. They built the opportunity <laughs> by that little block again. Yeah. Same one. Quick, quick. Tying the shoelaces of both shoes. Zhang to receive. Zhang, Zhang. Play. Yeah, there it was again. Yeah. Yeah. 
play of the Chinese. So it's over. Experienced the little break he took 16. there, Jang Nan. And that's one of the things that uh, has happened so far. We've often seen uh, Sukumuldo and Gideon take uh, a number of points in a row. from Chang Nan. It's gone past him, but a full pirouette on the backhand interception. Look at this. It's like a ballet dancer. Do you see the way that he turned his head quickly again to be looking back towards his opponents? Well, Liu Chang's got to be ready now because he's going to get more shuttles, way more shuttles than Cheng Nan. He's got to be really, really alert with his racket. And he isn't. They're scoring almost all their points playing Liu Chang. Clever play by the Indonesians. Trying to isolate him. Ready, 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 you know. Don't delay. Play. level Champions in their first Super Series tournament final together have a match point. Yeah. Finish it, Jang Nan. So it's over. So 20 all. 
extra points required. Well, that run of four straight points when under pressure, that was impressive from the Chinese bear. <laughs> Coach is feeling nervous too. So now a second opportunity for the world champions to win a second title together. Execution lacked a little bit. Read that there. They we're talking in the backhand side. I think the service umpire has to be really, the service judge has to be really ready now. Ah, no flicker. Oh, it's landed well in. Flat fast exchanges. And having just saved two match points. Now. Gideon and Sukumolio have a game point opportunity to send this to a decider. Oh, Second game point opportunity for the Indonesians. In the last three, four times it's been Jang Nan who's uh, missed. A bit under pressure, but he's missed anyway. One game all. Yeah, I don't mind another game of men's doubles here because it's turned into a really, really good match, even though we have a lot of short rallies. Yeah. Drama, excitement, good skills, athletic play. Who wouldn't want to see a third game? Well, I suppose Chinese fans. Yeah. <laughs> What a rally. Well, they don't mind either if they can be sure of a win. Uh, one game all. 40 minutes into the match.
seconds. just going to come down to the odd point here or there, I suspect, Steve. Yeah. Two such evenly matched pairs. Oof, well, two errors on the return of serve. First two points. Yeah, and, and that's the sort of services we saw against the Danish pair in the second round. Really efficient. have to be very careful here exactly otherwise the Indonesians are running away with it yeah and get even more confidence and the last yeah many rallies the Chinese pair have so been um, One, four. below the Indonesians in this uh, battle uh, with the backhand flat backhand drives Jiang Nan has been trying to sort of block them with his forehand and uh, Liu Chung playing his backhand, it hasn't worked. So we saw five, one. Well, Steen, since the inception of the Super Series in 2007, only once has a player from China failed to win a, suit, the, a title here at the Denmark Open, and that was last year. Now, if the men's doubles pair don't win this, the world champions, it'll happen for a second consecutive year. No titles to Chinese players. Oh, good fight. But they're making a fight back. And some people think that China dominate our sport. Think again. It's very open at the moment. Yeah, this has not been a good tournament for them. Um, all men's singles crashed out in the first round. I don't think it's ever happened before. It's gone long. Four, five. Yeah, they're... Uh, Women's doubles world champions, I think, lost second round. Yeah. Ching 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 and Jiang Fan. You see, that's the case. They're trying to block these, and, and they've been missing for the last um, 10, 15 rallies. It's not so much that they've been missing, but they haven't been winning any one of them. Design. Oh, like oh. so, is uh, more and more becoming a deciding you, you, factor in the, in the match. No delay. In my opinion, he's the one who's creating the uh, Good situations for the Indonesians. Yes. 
the judgment. Interesting, Zhang Nang talking to his partner, talking tactics or encouragement. Either way, oh. taking the captain's role. Some solo. Yeah. Five, eight. Interesting body Four. language after that rally. Look at the disappointment from both of the Chinese players, especially Liu Cheng. Turn of serve. So, so long, six. Thought for a moment he was going to deceive himself. Look at this. Blade, Swayed his blade. body to the backhand side of his opponents and hit it down the forehand. Challenge. Zangnan challenges. Call out. First challenge of this men's doubles final. No serve was called out. They believe it caught the line. It did. It certainly did. Oof. Man, eight, just. Ten. Play. Good return of serve. He's done the same thing again. Looking as if he was going to hit it down his opponent's backhand side and pushing it flat deep into the forehand corner. So a three-point advantage as they change ends in this deciding game for Gideon and Sukamolio. Very little time spent by the Chinese coach with his men. 20 seconds. 20 seconds.
Oh, it's another misjudgment from Sukhamolio when he was in a position to play it. It was inside the line, I think. Gideon's looking a little bit nervous. Yeah. Well, not really. Just. I, I just think that's that's pretty much his normal play. I think there's on both sides there's extremely big, well, not extreme, but there's big difference on the best player and the um, supporting player. Yeah. Good flick. Yeah. Back level. And you can see it when Gideon is uh, returning. He's leaning more and more forward when he senses that the, the service is being launched. But he's also so fast so that he can still manage to get back and return the flicker. for Gideon to move, could have played it cross. Shuttle's gone. That's an Shuttle, Shuttle was wobbling all over yeah. the place. That's an excellent rally by the Chinese pair. Six of the last seven points since the mid-game interval. to the mark, hasn't he? He has, and, and he's challenging Gideon. And, and uh, it's just not the same quality that he uh, is uh, producing as his partner. So Kinoglio has the immediate ability to uh, make creative turnarounds, where Gideon it comes back a lot of times, but it's uh, more manageable, the shots that are coming back. That sounds a little bit like <laughs> he's... He's not very good. He is very good. It's just that Sukumulio is exceptional. Yeah. And the same on the other side with uh, Jang Nan, in my opinion. Liu Liu. Exceptional. Exceptional. tape like here then Jang Nan's racket is up but if the Indonesians are above the tape then they can challenge him because then he's still gonna try and, and there's gonna be some mistakes Been 
know, it's all gone wrong since Sukumolio left that one on his forehand yes. side, that little half-court push. Started uh, the Chinese comeback here. Yeah. Because it looked uh, all peace and quiet and no danger for the Indonesians, and they were about to get on the side that they had uh, won the second game. This is eight out of the last nine points. Marcus, Marcus. No. No, no. Yeah. Yes, it is. Sorry. I beg your pardon, Steve. I was thinking about from the mid game interval. Yeah, no. But eight of the last nine points. Oh, my goodness, that was a tumble serve. I suspect that may have dropped short had he had left it. 15, 17. Watch how this shuttle tumbles and spins. It's an exciting new development. Oh! And there he is again, interception from Jang Nan. A three-point advantage and three points away from the title. And I haven't got the exact timing here, but I've checked a number of matches, and when they go around an hour or over an hour the indonesians have lost a number of them It'd be very interesting to do uh, even more statistics on that well, has been warned about delay at least three or four times yeah. Excellent smash from Bruchal. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent smash. Setting up his partner. This one here. And to the outer side. I'm surprised that he even got it back, Gideon. That's a good job of getting it back in the first place. Four points home, and uh, Sukumulu is serving. He's done it before. Oh, well, well. 18, 19. Liu Chang probably a little bit tensed. Yeah. the change of pace to which I referred and a simple simple put away in the end for Jung Nan well I had two match point opportunities in the second game did Liu Cheng and Jung Nan and they've got another two now Wide. 
this one, this one I'm begging. From Solo, 1920. No, 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 no. Marcus, Marcus. So a fourth match point in total for the world champions. This time they convert a first ever Super Series title for Lu Chen and Zhang Nan as a pair. A first Super Series title in the men's doubles for Liu Cheng. He's won one in mixed. Now he's added a men's doubles. 21-19 in the deciding game. An hour and three minutes. What fabulous badminton. Well, is an extraordinary player in the words of Steen Pedersen. I concur. Jiang Nan, that is, he made the difference. The way he reads the game and Liu Cheng, well, he has improved his defensive play, there's no doubt about it, but he is a powerhouse. Smashing from the back of the court, which then sets up his partner to be able to intercept at the front. Yeah, the delight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready for the prize giving ceremony. Yeah, confirmation of the score 21 16, 22 24, 21 19 in the deciding game. And the runners up from Indonesia. Marcus Vanelli Gideon and Kevin Sinjaya Sukanju. Well, and the for the Indonesians, Indonesia, in a sixth Super Series tournament final this year. For only a second time. And having to settle from for second China, best. Jing and Zhangnan. The world champions win their first ever Super Series title as a pair. It's only their second ever title together. That's a pretty good CV, isn't it? Two titles, world championships and a premier Super Series title. They know what tournaments are important. <laughs> Paul Eric Hoyer Larson making the presentations. The former Olympic champion, now president of the BWF and IOC council member. Well, it was third time lucky for Liu Cheng in men's doubles Super Series tournament finals. He was in two finals with Liu Kai. One of them was here two years ago. The Czech mascot yeah, the and the Australian Open in 2015. CEO of Denisa. The local gift and flowers are presented by Peter Rabeck, Jules, Mayor of Bonsa City. Well, 
So many gifts and trophies and flowers. Wu Cheng struggling to hold them all. Ladies and gentlemen, your medalist at the Denimisa, Edward Owen, presented by Victor, 2017. Well, it's the third title here at the Denmark Open for Jang Nan. A second men's doubles after winning the title with Fu Hai Fang three years ago. What a thrilling final. What made the difference? Why did you win this one? Uh, I think it's it comes to the finals and everyone wants to win, but it really matters that who has the best strong and persistence that matters. How is it to play against these two Indonesians? They're doing a lot of tricks and they're swinging the rackets when the ball is not in and so on. How is it to play against them? Uh, uh,你们的对手使用了非常多的技巧和一些耍一些小把戏，然后你们觉得在这样的一些环境中，你们是如何去处理和应对的呢？啊，我觉得比赛当中这种这种环节很正常嘛，所以说因为之前我们两次交手
Well, what a day it has been so far. The three doubles titles all going to pairs, winning their first Super Series title as pairs. Absolutely extraordinary and thrilling matches too. We've just got one more final to come and it's men's singles. The 37-year-old Lee Hyun Il of Korea trying to win his second Super Series title nine years after his first. He's up against the man very much in form in his fourth Super Series tournament final this year, the Indian player and number eight seed, Shrikanth Kidambi. Now, as far as the Super Series standings are concerned, prior to the J Japan Open, Shrikanth Kadambi was the number one on that list. Whether he wins or loses today's final, he will go back to number one, pushing Sun Wan Ho down to number two. Victor Axelsson, the home player here in Denmark and the newly crowned world champion, will uh, swap places with Shi Uchi by virtue of Axelsson's quarter-final 